Hey guys, Cyclomania here. Uh, I'm just going to shoot a video. I moved my vase and went ahead and uh, set it up here on the uh, kitchen banister and added a light to it. Um, I think it turned out pretty good. It looks really cool here. Um, I added a couple more corals. I think you guys saw the video with the yellow star polyps in there. They're doing really good. Green stars are starting to attach to the glass right there. There's my Mexican turbo. Added some silver pulsating zinnias. Got the uh, mushroom in there. Got the Kenya tree that I frag. So far, I fragged it three times. And uh, basically, I just come in there and I. I snip it off and just uh, basically let the branch go wherever. I think there's uh, there's actually two in the front. Let's see if I come up here, I might be able to see. Yeah, there you go. There's there's uh, one Kenya right there, another Kenya right there. Everything's working good. Um, basically, this tank is. Uh, only thing that it has in there is basically uh, the pump. That's it. Um, I have a 50-50 10 watt bulb right here, which uh, I'll go ahead and uh, turn off the, uh, I think this is a 19 watt, no this is an 18 watt 50-50 uh, bulb on uh, this compact fluorescent. Go ahead and show you this. Just those kind of bulbs right there. And uh, basically, I pick up I picked up the, this bulb right here for. Uh, I'll go ahead and turn that light. Well, let me turn this light on real quick. Go ahead and show you. Basically, I don't know if you guys can tell, but we'll see. The camera will adjust to it. No, nope, it's not going to show it. Well, one of these is uh, antennic. And the other one's 10,000K. This thing's only uh, like $9.99 at uh, PetSmart. And uh, I like the 20 watt ones, but unfortunately these are the only ones that they sell. So uh, I just had to get this one. 20 watt ones are actually a lot longer. I actually have one over here that uh, I've been running shoot for a long time. Uh, probably about seven months I've been running this one you can tell it's getting black and everything I got I'm gonna go ahead and retire it but um, yeah I mean these things are pretty simple all they are is uh, basically a pico tank and uh, I feed this tank once a week uh, usually on Saturdays and uh, I just throw in a cube of mice of shrimp usually inside a turkey baster and um, Basically, shoot that in there, and uh, I'll let the tank feed for about two hours. And uh, grab a siphon hose and uh, suck all the water out. I'll put the siphon hose all the way at the bottom after I stir everything up with the turkey baster. Suck all the water out and uh, pour a fresh uh, gallon of salt water in there. And uh, turn the pump back on and walk away and come back a week later. Uh, and that's everything. I don't, uh, I was looking at a piece of a sea anemone in here I tried killing. Uh, but that's it. That's all I got to do. And, uh, I just started, uh, dosing with Sea Balance, um, A and B solution. Uh, and I do about 2.5 milliliters of, uh, each solution an hour before the lights come on three days a week. So I think my schedule's, uh, Sunday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. I'll uh, start dosing. I just started this week. So uh, if you guys can catch all the Coraline that I have in there right now, we'll see uh, basically how much more I can get in there. Um, I'm suspecting that these pulsating zinnias right here are really going to start taking off. And hopefully I can get um, them basically just covering the glass, covering the rocks. And uh, basically I'm just going to use this as um like a just a little experiment tank right now i'm just gonna once i start fragging in the hot tub i'll just keep throwing frags in here 
random ones and whatever and uh, basically just try to get the whole thing full but uh, they're sure fun to look at um, they're uh, definitely something to talk about and uh, sitting here doing dishes or whatever here in the kitchen it's kind of nice to just uh, look at one of them and um, yeah I mean I am going to be getting a little uh, probably a banded coral shrimp in here or a pom pom shrimp and uh, start getting some inverts in here and uh, I would like to do a vase uh, basically with uh, LEDs but uh, haven't really found the right fixture for that yet but uh figured I'd just shoot this video the new install I like it it works out good and uh, hope you guys like it and uh, maybe uh, some more of you guys out there will start one of these up but uh, this one's looking good. I'm real stoked about it. I will be shooting a video of the three gallon one that uh, I built for my my buddy's dad at his house. I, there's a couple videos on there, but um, I haven't shot any videos of it when uh, out right after I do water change outs. I always shoot the video before because everything closes up. But uh, you know, I threw in uh, one of those silver zinnias in his vase. It was just a little stub, just a little stub, and uh, basically, I think we changed the water out in that vase like three or four times in five, six months, and it had already reproduced like four or five times all over the tank, and that's not even from trimming, so uh, I'm uh, real skeptical if uh, this vase is going to do that well. It's, uh, you know, one gallon of water versus three gallons, but... Um, We'll see. As long as I keep up on my dosing, I think everything will be just fine. But, uh, yeah, I guess that concludes my video. I hope you guys like this. And uh, I know it's kind of funny looking with the lamp up there. But uh, quick fix. I just wanted to make sure I'd get enough light uh, on here for my Coraline algae to start growing and basically uh, everything else to get enough light. I noticed I need to change these bulbs out. But uh, they're discontinued as a coral life fixture. They discontinued the fixture, and I can't really find uh, the bulbs anywhere in the store, so it looks like I'm going to have to order them online. So I just put in uh, one of these bulbs in here for now, give it an extra 10 watts. Um, it's equivalent to 50 watts output. But uh, it seems to be doing really good. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy. And after I've added this bulb, we should see a lot more color in the corals. Um, this thing's already starting to color up a little bit more. I noticed that one of my uh, zoanthids right there started getting real orange in the center since I got this bulb on here today. But um, it's looking good. Toadstool's doing good. Not as, not the polyps on the end aren't as big as what they were when I bought it. But it was under uh, I think it was like a 120 watt LED light. So um, you know that's some of the best light you can have over coral. But uh, no, I hope you guys like it. Uh, shoot, uh, shoot any comments on there or any concerns that you guys have or any ideas or any questions. Just go ahead and post it on this video. I think this is my first commentary video with my uh, one-gallon vase. And uh, I'll keep you guys posted. Thanks, guys.